Okay then, here we go, depth of field. So, we need to be looking through the perspective camera, as I am, and we need to work on this camera here. Uh, but the most important thing, before we can worry about what's in focus and what's not in focus, is learning the distance between this camera and the plane, which is the thing that we want to have in focus. Without that, we can't tell Maya what depth we want it to focus to, so we'll have no control over the camera. So that's step one, being able to sort the focus distance out. Okay, so to work out what that distance is, we're going to use a measurement tool. And you get those by clicking on Create, Measure Tools, and we're going to get a Distance tool. Okay, so in order to get that, you click on it, and then I'm going to click once on the camera, and I'm going to click once on the plane. Now, if you're lucky, that'll just work automatically. Uh, but in my case, as you can see, it's got quite close to the plane, but the one that should be on the camera is nowhere near. That's not a problem, because um, I need to tidy it up on the plane anyway. It's never spot on. So to tidy it up, to make sure it's exactly in the right place, what you need to do is go into your outliner, which lives in Window, Outliner. And hopefully you can see, I'm just going to turn my um, distance tool off. Um, you can see that this measurement tool is made up of two locators. Locator 1, which is this end. Locator 2, which is currently somewhere in the plane. So what I'm going to do is click on Locator 1. Fantastic. I'm then going to shift select my camera. And then I'm going to parent them by pressing key P on the keyboard. Like that. Now that's not moved anything. But what it does is it ensures that now whenever I click on, there's Locator 1. Um, as long as I've got Locator 1 selected, if I now look in my channel box, you can see that Translate X, Y, and Z, uh, they currently have values which you would expect, but if I set them to zero, it won't go to the center of the origin, it'll go to the center of its parent, which in this case is the camera, which means it'll be perfectly located. So I'm going to set those to zero, and there you can see that has now popped right into where the camera is. Brilliant. So now I need to do the same with the... Um, with locator 2, so click on that, shift click on the plane, press P, and you can see it's close, but it's not quite spot on. So set these um, all to zero, pop, and I now know what the distance is from the camera to the plane. It's 30.34 units. Wicked. Right, so now that we've worked that out, um, we can have a look at setting depth of field up, which we'll do in the next video. So if you want to mosey on over there, uh, we'll set about making this particular camera angle uh, look really cool. Okay, see you there.